Hello everyone. What is resting membrane potential? Depolarization, repolarization, hyperpolarization. Let us understand about all this physiological process in this video. First of all, resting membrane potential. Understand this one. See, when cell is rest at the membrane, there is charge difference is there. Understand the concept. So inside the cell, we have certain ions. Outside the cell, we have certain ions. Inside the cell ions, we call it as intracellular ions. Outside the cell, the ions, we call it as extracellular ions. Besides, inside the cell, you have a lot of organic anions are there. Think about ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Three phosphates are there with large negative groups, PO4 minus. So inside, you have a lot of negative charges are there. And there is a pump called a sodium potassium pump, which maintains negative charge inside the cell. So because of all these reasons, across the cell membrane, there is a charge difference is there. Inside the cell, it is negative. Excite, outside the cell, it is a little positive is there. This difference creates a potential. So this is called a resting membrane potential. That means at rest, across the membrane, there is a potential difference. And this is called resting membrane potential. It varies depends on the cell. But for all the cell, it is negative inside to the exterior. In case of neuronal cells, it is minus 70 millivolts. In case of cardiac cells, it is minus 90 millivolts. Understand the word minus. Inside the cell, it is negative. So this is called as resting membrane potential. Now, when there is a stimulation, what happens is, some of the channels at the cell membrane opens and ions get inside or go outside. Because of these changes, the potential changes. Inside the cell, it is negative charge. When it becomes positive, the process is called as depolarization. Think about this. Sodium channels are there on the cell membrane. When sodium channel opens, sodium channel is an extracellular ion. It is present outside the cell. When the channel opens, it rushes inside the cell. Inside, there is a negative charge. Sodium comes with positive charge. So inside the cell membrane, it becomes positive. The normal potential is reversed. So it is called as D polarization. What is normal polarization? Negative inside the cell. What happens during depolarization? It becomes positive inside the cell. So this is called as depolarization. Now, once it happens, the cell will not remain in this polar polarization state. Again, it goes back to normal polarity by sending sodium outside the cell and by taking potassium inside the cell. This is, this is possible with the help of a proton, uh, I'm sorry, with the help of a protein known as sodium potassium pump. It is called as pump because it acts with the help of ATP. So this sodium potassium pump sends three of the sodium to the outside of the cell, takes back two of the potassium inside of the cell. So what is happening? Three sodium is going out, only two potassium is coming inside. So three positives are going out, two potassium is coming inside. So again, the positive is going out. So inside the cell, it becomes negative. It becomes normal polar polarization state. It is called as repolarization. So depolarization is inside is getting positive. Repolarization is again making it normal polarity state that is negative inside the cell. Now sometimes the negative charge goes in higher end. Imagine if cash, if, if chloride channel opens, chloride has got a negative charge. If chloride ions are getting inside, already you have a negative charge, the negative charge increases inside the cell membrane. That is called as hyperpolarization. These are all the terms you need to understand. So the resting membrane potential is negative inside, positive outside. Depolarization means inside the cell membrane, it is becoming positive. Repolarization means again correcting the charges, again getting back to resting membrane potential. Hyperpolarization means when a negative ion gets inside, it increases negative charge inside the cell. That is called hyperpolarization. I hope this is clear. Thank you.